Living the dream on the road. Out in the middle of the West Texas desert, it almost looks like a mirage, like a man in a white polo shirt with maybe a seven iron? Talk about off course. All right, down center. We found 24-year-old law student Luke Bolowski miles from the nearest fairway, hitting shot after shot toward the eastern horizon. How many strokes so far? I think we're about 16,000 and change. What is par? What have you calculated par to I be for this? I estimated 48,000, and that was based off of a, of a feasibility study that I did in Indiana. Obviously, this is no ordinary golf hole. In fact, this may be the world's longest golf hole, stretching from T to shining T. Luke began in May at the Pacific Ocean. He'll end on the 18th green of a course on the Atlantic. It's a good bounce. In between, 3,000 miles of busy roads and orange groves, bad lies on railroad ties, and every obstacle under the tank. He's golfing across the country, partly to raise money for charity. Thank you so much. And partly just to see if it can be done. So far, things look promising. Hasn't even hit anybody. He estimates it will take him another three months and 30,000 strokes to hit the green he's shooting for. Ouch. But until then, he hit me. <laughs> so much for not hitting anyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fortunately, there aren't many other people in the way, way out here. He travels with a small support team in a trailer and a beefed up golf cart, which he drives most of the time. Other than that, he plays like any other golfer. Oh my gosh. Hitting them as they lie. One. Wishing he could lie about how many he hit. Yeah. Can. At this point, it's looking like he may end up a few thousand over par. Two. Where's a beer cart? when you need one. Three. That just looks overwhelming, just making it to the end of this road. It's a big country, and you realize why nobody's done this. <laughs> Steve Hartman on a dirt road in West Texas.